Hello all, I'm Mark Wilbur. Usually I blog and I, I record videos about language learning and teaching languages. I used to live in Taiwan for a long time. I was a very enthusiastic learner of the Chinese language and I also ran an English teaching school, uh, or at least the academic side of one. I was, a, I was a partner and did that for four years. And I was at an EDU startup in more of a business role in Beijing for a year. Now I'm a student at one of the many, well, not that many, but one of one of the the uh, pretty hardcore hacker boot camp kinds of schools in San Francisco. It's uh, it's called Hack Reactor. We study six days a week from 9 a.m. until at least 8:30 p.m. Although to be completely honest, I've I've been staying longer than that because we're we're working on interesting things and. Uh, the classmates are amazing. They didn't have uh, they didn't have requirements for uh, prior programming abilities. Really, um, their their basic philosophy is that uh, they go for desire first. So they believe they can make pretty good programmers out of anyone who really really wants to do it. My classmates have been amazing. Um, I hadn't realized how, how selective it was when I first got in, but now I've found out it is. Uh, they're doing about six interviews every day, and each 12-week uh, cohort of students only has 15 per class. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of out of it right now. It's, uh, it's actually almost 12.30. I just got home, um, finished my second week. And I'm I'm recording this partially just for for my own posterity. I want to I want to have some kind of record of of what I'm doing, how I'm feeling at different parts of the program. Um, first week was pretty easy for me at first because I, I have had a blog for a few years. I uh, I'm not you know a CSS expert, but I I think I basically know how to how to get things to line up and go where I want them to go, and I, I definitely have uh, you know a little bit of familiarity with JavaScript but uh, we did a like a, a clone of Twitter's front end uh, like a simplified version of course and we cloned let's see did like a like a PayPal style uh, billing form and a whole bunch of basic JavaScript things uh, similar to the Ruby cones but for JavaScript and we we dug into Jasmine testing library a bit. Then the second week, we've been we've been implementing underscore ourselves. So we we had to write uh, uh, each functions and map and, and reduce and quite a few things. Uh, memo was a little bit mind bending for me. I I hadn't written any programs that required closures before. Uh, what else? Uh, once is also a program that, or also a, a utility function that's like that. Um, we made uh, like a kind of like a miniature game. It's completely uh, DOM nodes, so just DOM nodes with with either background images or or border radiuses and widths and lengths. And it was, that was that was pretty pretty interesting. Um, Today I just started a, a new project. This one's a, a chat client, and I've, I've mostly got it working. We're using Parse API, and uh, since it's uh, it's our one day off per week is is on Thursday, so uh, tonight I can actually stay up a little bit later and I can sleep in. But on my off day tomorrow, I, I'm still going to go to a, a Meteor JS meetup because because uh, uh, it seems like it would be fun. So uh, yeah, right now I. I'm exhausted, but uh, I don't think I've ever been quite this engaged with with what I've been studying, even when I was kind of at my my peak intensity for for language learning when I was really into Japanese and when I was in college. So this is uh, this is cool, and I've met lots of amazing people. I keep saying that, but it's true. Uh, some of the other students. Uh, you know, have backgrounds and all kinds of things. Like uh, a couple of them were actually students at a similar school called. Uh, uh, oh wait, no, no, those are the a couple of the teachers were students at Dev Bootcamp before. But uh, some of my my classmates, uh, you know, were in finance before, or 
or consulting or uh, nonprofit stuff. It's just like all kinds of, of different people who came from a, an array of different backgrounds. Uh, one was even a computer science major um, who, who wants to get into like more cutting edge front end stuff, which, which we'll do it at, uh, at Hack Reactor. Um, yeah, and also the people coming, like uh, one of our students, one of my classmates is, is from Russia, and there's a it's a 18 year old guy who flew in from from England to do it, and it's uh, yeah, it's it's more than I was expecting because it's it's such a new program, but I, you know, I didn't realize uh, they had so much momentum, and I didn't realize just how competitive it was to get into. So that's been awesome. Um, I'm a little bit. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I feel feel pretty good about stuff. I'm, I'm personally doing well. Um, the 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 classes are all taught in a, a pair system, so we'll have one Mac Mini powering two gigantic monitors and wireless keyboards and trackpads. And uh, so, like, if I type something, the same thing will be typed in on my partner's screen. We're both we're both looking at the same display on separate screens. Um, so obviously it forces you to work together, it forces you to, uh, you know, if, if one person is driving, they say the person who's, who's got the keyboard and mouse is driving, the other one can, can be the navigator and kind of take a little bit higher level look at the problem and, you know, help, help talk the driver through what's going on. And it's, uh, it's, it's actually led to faster learning and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of it's kind of been helpful for picking up all the tools like uh, I you know I knew I, I've used like the console before in, in Chrome or Firefox but I, I didn't know just how many debugging tools there were and they're they're like you know sublime shortcuts I'm picking up and there there are just all kinds of things that uh, we pick up pretty quickly because whatever one person knows uh, you know we're, we're switching partners every every uh, sprint we call it like every every two-day sprint so we all you know we all learn what the other ones know and uh, you know we're all all kind of in it together that's that's a great feeling um, yeah I don't want to don't want to ramble too much I was uh, uh, we had a like a like a mini uh, mini party since it was our night before our day off we all played uh, connect games and stuff but uh, yeah, that's where I am now, and I think this coming week we're going to be learning Backbone, and, and that should be pretty fun. Uh, yep, yeah, so I will I will probably record another of these after week three is complete, and I'm going to get some sleep now.